All right, so a couple of you were asking uh, how I went about editing my um, drawing that I did for the beer panel. Um, so we're just going to quickly cover the two programs that I used for that. Um, one is Auto Tracer and the other is Inkscape. And let me get this um, auto. I forgot to do some recording right here. Entire screen. Now we're recording. All right, so now I've got my screen recording. Um, you should see the beer file here in the PDF and then the ping file .png. Um, so we'll cover those two files and how you can throw them into Inkscape to edit uh, later on. All right, so we'll first need, obviously, the Inkscape file. And you guys will be able to download this um, basically this is used for Macs, PCs, um, and I guess Linux is the other download. But So just choose whatever desktop that you're using. I'm going with the Mac. So if you get that downloaded, um, what we can do, we'll start off with the .png file. So let's open Inkscape up. I've already downloaded it, and so this is what it looks like when you open it up. So we have this blank page and we're just gonna load up our first file. I'm gonna go to, I guess you can go to open or import. Um, either one is fine. And so we have the .png file or the PDF. So let's go with the ping file first. So we'll open that up. I'm just gonna leave all the defaults alone and then just hit okay. And so now we have our image right here. Just dragging that in the center. If you want to have this image uh, be placed into the workspace, you can go to File, Document Properties. And then you can obviously over here, you can choose the different sizes like the US letter size and different um, dimensions for that. But what we're going to do, though, is actually have it be uh, resized to the content. So we're going to click this right here, resize page to content. And then this button right here, we're just going to click resize page to the drawing. Let's move this out of the way. And after that, now the entire image is the size of the a document so whatever that is it doesn't matter because we're using um, this is gonna get turned into a vector based uh, file and so it doesn't really matter the size of your picture at this moment but now what we need to do next is to go into the path column here the selection go to trace bitmap and this is where we do some sort of settings to change um, to be able to, to make some adjustments and things on this drawing and you guys will see that in a little bit here but we'll go into the multiple scans I'm gonna choose color in the drop-down and if you click update you should see this image pop up of what we're working with and this image right here is like a preview of um, the scans that it's going to work on. So as of right now, we've selected the colors and we have eight different colors for the scan. So let's bring that down to say four and then let's click update. And you'll see that it cut out some of those colors right now. Um, I think it was the red that disappeared then also the other shade of blue that disappeared and it kept four colors. So that's what we're looking at. So if you up it, let's go to five and see how that changes. So it brought back another color. We've got that blue in there now, but the red is still missing. So let's go up to six, click update. And then now we're back here uh, with the six colors. And so if that looks good to you in the image you're working with, I would just hit okay. So I left everything um, checked and I didn't mess with any of that 
So we're just going to click OK and let that work and start to, um, I guess what it's doing is getting different points up in your picture here. And I think that's it right now with the OK and it doesn't really close, so we'll just close that out. Okay, so now we're in this image and you can't really tell what's going on, but if you were to click and drag this image that we just traced, the back drawing, the one that we're this in the background right here, we can go ahead and delete this one. And so I'll just click and delete there, I'll bring this one back, and I think there may be some alignment to get it onto this page. Um, don't think I remember that at this moment. But anyhow, uh, what we're going to do, let me show you how I would kind of edit my image once we get to this point. So in this upper left corner, you're going to see this edit paths by nodes. And that's the very important um, thing that we're going to be working with. So go ahead and click that. And now as you're hovering your arrow over the picture, you'll see things start to kind of highlight. And so let's say we select the black color, which is all the black lines. So I'm just going to go into an area and zoom in a bit here and we can just click on the black. And now you see all these different points come up and these are the nodes um, where you can start to adjust. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what that tracing did and it added all these points all around and we're looking at just the black layers. There's a couple more layers. Um, the, each color has its own layer. And so say we want, we want it to zoom in here and we want it to stretch this black line right here. There's a lot of these points. If I could just grab one you can see how it lit up. We're just going to drag that out. And what that's doing is just changing that black line to stretch it out. You can have it curve and grab these bars right here on the side. And you can kind of tilt and change that the way you want it to. You can also move it around. Or you can also delete it. And so that would jump back, back to the next the two on the um, the neighboring points right there. And so that's how I did it with my picture. And if I wanted to, um, you know, let's again over here, let's just go ahead and delete some of these points that I don't need. There seems to be quite a bit on a straight line. So I'm just selecting these squares and deleting some of these here. If you had, you don't need all of this right now. Oh, you see how that curved um, just started getting weird right there. So I'm just going to change this arm, bring that down, get this one on this side and bring that down. So, you know, you can change this point into making it less curvy right there and you can just kind of twist the black color and that's what we're doing right now. We're shifting the black lines. So that's how you would do it in manipulating your drawing and I'm just playing with some of these points, grabbing them, moving it around. You can zoom in and out to click in, grab more specific, um, just stretching those out. And if you don't need those points, you can delete it. I don't think I've figured out how to add it in yet, but these are called nodes and you'll be able to um, just, you know, start playing around with this. So you can see right there that line has been stretched out on the black color. So that's pretty much what I did with this drawing. And I just went around and started, let me click out of here first um, so you can kind of see the original picture. So that's what I did to manipulate some of these, um, like the corners here where I had to change the glass and where it connects to the circle. Um, 
I had to line it up so to make it e to make it easier for us to use with stained glass. Um, and so that's what you would do with your drawing. Once you import it into Inkscape, then you turn it into um, the tracing of the bitmap, and then you can start grabbing these nodes and moving things around. Um, now, once you do that, then you can just save it, print it out as normal, you can save it as whatever file you want, and that should work just the same way as anything else um, in the printing process. So get your drawing fixed, and then you can just change that, um, save it, and print that out. Um, so the next thing, let's close this out, and I wanted to get the PDF file. Let's see here, close without saving. And then I wanted to get the PDF file because it doesn't work the same way. Um, the PDF file, once you import it in, I, it seems like it doesn't, uh, doesn't trace that bitmap the same way and I don't know what um, happens with that so what I do with a PDF and what I did before was um, obviously we need this other program so let's get into what I use was auto tracer is the program auto tracer.org and I believe it's a good website and I don't think there's anything wrong with the security but for some reason it's showing it's unsafe um, but you basically get to the page choose a file PDF get that in there we're gonna scale it to 8 SVG and then hit start okay now we're processing um, this is turning it into the SVG file and so there we have it and we can download this. And we're gonna click at this button right here. Result, download. Don't click on this one, I think that goes to something else. Okay, so is it downloading? Show in Finder. Let's go into our page here, SVG. Okay. Let's open up Inkscape again, and we're gonna open that file we just saved. Right there, I've saved it once before, beer.svg. Open it up, and basically you'll be able to do the exact same thing that I did um, with, whoa, it's not coming up at all, is it? Hmm. taking a while for this thing to load I guess I don't even know what's going on um, hmm. oh, it's super zoomed out for some reason okay I don't know what happened there so we just pulled up the file <laughs> What just happened right here? All right, so that got zoomed out. Okay, so we're back here on .svg. And if you went into your nodes again, you can see you can select. Um, seems like it's actually much nicer in um, the drawing here. It doesn't, it rounded out a lot of the things you can see how things are rounded up but for this version what it did was actually made each single thing its own um, entity so you can see when I select this blue you're seeing just the point of the blue and not the entire um, edits of the entire color of the blues so that's kind of nice if you went about it this way um, like if it chose just the top there, there's four points, one on each corner, and if you wanted to bring in, you know, make that line closer, you can do that. So we can make it, move it pretty easily like this, and so now you have an edited version of that. Um, so if you wanted to go about it this way, 
maybe that is easier for you. And I would maybe play around with using Auto Tracer to change things to SVG and then importing it, or just go directly from the ping file and importing it uh, right into the Inkscape um, program here. So that's pretty much it. I think uh, you'll be able to, once you get to this point, you'll be able to move and change your pictures around, edit that to your liking and uh, to make sure that it works for stained glass and for what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful and let me know if there's anything else.